What's up Strong Church? Chris here. Today I want to talk about the craze that is sweeping the nation right now. CrossFit. Yesterday I started my own journey on this crazy exercise program and let me tell you it was intense. But I don't want to talk about what I actually did and you know the, the moves that I did. What I want to talk to you about is the thought that I had after the workout when I was taking a shower. You know I was thinking about that there's two extremes out there and they both get kind of a bad rap. You know, you have those ultra fit people out there that have the, they look like they're chiseled from stone and they have the six pack and they have muscles bulging everywhere. And people look at that. Some of them might admire that, but a lot of people I think look at that and just immediately write those people off as being jerks. You know, they're all they're just consumed in themselves. And that's all they care about. And then you have the other end of the spectrum, right? You have the fat people. Excuse my language, but for lack of a better term, you have fat people and when people look at those type of people they immediately label them as lazy you know they don't want to take the time and go to the gym they don't want to look after what they're actually eating and they just they're just lazy in their way of life so those are the two extremes and really when I thought about you know where do I fit in here obviously I'm not the ultra fitness guy and I don't think I fall into the category of, of the fat people I'm kind of in this this different category, this, this, this middle ground between those two. And really, I've always been there. You know, when I was younger, my mom used to try to cover it up with, uh, with nice words uh, like uh, big boned or stocky, but really, you know, I'm, I'm just a chubby guy. I'm husky, as they would call it. I'm not super skinny and I'm not really that huge. I'm just kind of in this, this middle area. And you know what, I like being here. I'm, I'm comfortable here. Because I really get the best of both worlds. You know, I, I still have energy and I still am able to do all the things that I love to do outside and with my kids. And yet at the same time, I'm not counting calories and I'm not really uh, worrying too much about what I eat. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't uh, go out and eat all sugar or all fats and stuff. I do watch some of that stuff, but it's not to uh, the particular uh, exact science that some people take it to. Now this started making me think, because in the church we also have two extremes, right? You have the, the ultra-liberal people and then you have the ultra-conservative people. Both groups have pros and cons to each one of their stances. You know, liberal churches, they attract a lot of people. They do things in different ways that a conservative church would not be comfortable with. But also, we see a lot of times the same churches are pretty loose on what they're teaching and their doctrine. And on the other end of the spectrum, you have the conservative church that is strict on, the, on what they're teaching and what their doctrine is. But at the same time, a lot of times people describe that kind of church as boring. And that's not good either. So the question I want to pose to you guys, is there some type of chubby church that we need to be striving after. Somewhere in the middle, some religious middle ground that is the best of both worlds. You know, in preaching school they talked a lot about balance as a, as a preacher because a lot of times uh, as a preacher we can get caught up into our work and it's important work going out and trying to save people and help people. That's stuff that we all need to be doing and it's the preacher's job to do that. But sometimes they get so caught up in that that they neglect their family. And that's why we hear about preacher's kids being so crazy sometimes. It's because they spend so much time doing their work that they don't spend the time that they need to with their family. And so they taught us that there's, it's, a, it's a system of balance that you have to come up with. And I think it should be the same with the church. We're playing a balancing game here. Now I'm not saying that we need to change our doctrines or, or loosen up on them. We need to be standing firm on what the Bible teaches. But also we need to be thinking of innovative ways to spread the gospel. Innovative ways to keep the truth the same and yet deliver it in a new or, or interesting way. Because really when we think about it, I mean the church has been in the business of innovation since the beginning. You know, it broke down stereotypes from the get-go. And the very nature of first century Christianity was going to the people, finding ways to take the gospel to them so that they can understand it and they can appreciate it and know what they need to do. This week I'd like you to take a look at your life. Really ask yourself the question, am I trying to be balanced in my approach? Am I really trying to understand the people around me and think of innovative ways to take the gospel to them? You know, what's an innovative way that we can share the gospel with someone who's gay or, or lesbian or, or homosexual? How can we reach out to them? 
We need to be thinking of ways that we can reach out to those people who have no respect for God, who don't know who God is at all. I think we all need to spend some time and think about how we can strive to be that chubby church. That church that's in the middle, that church is striving for balance, not swinging the pendulum from the left and to the right, but staying balanced in the middle so we can be, be the most effective that we can be. I want you guys to strive to be balanced this week. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching this, and as always, stay strong. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video and you want to see more in the future, click that little subscribe button down in the left hand corner, you'll be doing us a huge favor. If you'd like to follow us on social media, there's links down in the description so you can like or follow us, and so that way you can receive some daily encouragement so you too can become strong. Once again, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments for us, please put them down in the comment section below. And, as always, stay strong.